All right, folks, 1.3, equivalent linear relations. What we're looking at here is how can we look at systems or even two equations and know that they're equal? We've already looked at examples earlier on in this unit talking about how streets have different names but are the exact same street, such as here Ontario Street and Highway 10. Well, equations that have the same graph are known as equivalent linear relations. So they'll have exactly the same graph, or in the case of streets, they'd be the exact same street, but essentially, originally, the equations look different. So another thing to note is that equivalent linear systems have the same solution, such as the same point of intersection. So that's something else to note. So not always is it that where the equations are equal, but because they have the same solution, meaning that the same intersection point, they will be known as equivalent linear systems because they have the same solution. So example number one, we're looking at two linear equations, and we need to know whether they're equivalent, and that's going to be important. So looking at this equation and looking at this equation, we can see that the two equations are, first of all, not in the same form. They don't look exactly alike just yet. Well, they're not in the exact same form, so what's going to be important is to change one of the equations, i.e. the one I'm circling here, into a different form. What form should it be in? Well, looking over here, this equation is in y equals mx plus b form. So, for the first equation, we leave it alone. That's equation number one. We just leave it alone. That's what it is. Equation number two, we're going to isolate y in equation number two. So you have y is equal to, well, it will equal, now, we, now remember, what do we have to do is we have to isolate for y. That means divide by 4. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. You divide by 4, and notice here, folks, you have 3 over 4, okay, 3 over 4, plus 4 over 4. Remember that this denominator goes to each piece in the numerator. So you have 3 over 4x plus 1, because 4 over 4 is 1. Looking at the two equations, you should see that both equations are equivalent because they're exactly the same. They have the same slope and the same y-intercept. All right, let's look at the next one. Example number 2. If y equals 2x minus 5 and 3y equals kx minus 15 are equivalent linear equations, what is the value of k? So that's what's being asked here. What is the value of k? So I'm telling you that these are equivalent, but I'm missing a piece of information, that being k. We need to find the value of k. So what do you think we need to do? Well, again, we see this form, and we see this form, and note they're in different forms. So what's important is that you put it in the proper form, y equals mx plus b. So the first equation is going to be y equals 2x minus 5. And the second equation is going to be y is equal to, okay, so the first equation is right. The second equation we're going to isolate for y in equation number 2. So that's going to be, there's the equation for number 2. Isolate for y, divide both sides by 3. That means 3y over 3 is equal to y, and k over 3x and minus 15 over 3, which should be minus 5. Now note, these two equations have to equal each other. Both of these equations must equal in order to be equivalent. Well, notice that their y-intercepts are equal. So that means their x-intercepts, sorry, not their, their slopes have to also equal. So k over 3 must equal 2. Okay, so the slopes are equal. We find the value of k by moving the 3 over by multiplying, and we find out that k is equal to 6. And that's your final answer. You can just circle it, and that's enough.
for you to get the full marks. All right, one more example. All right, are the following systems equivalent? That's the question that's being given. So you're given two different systems in different forms. Here is the first system and the second system. What do you notice about the one that I circled? Well, let's look here. We can see that these are in slope y-intercept form. These are not. So what should we should do is make this into y equals for both equations. And let's do that. You get y is equal to 2x minus 2. And the second one is going to be y equals x plus 1. So again, the first one, we uh, make y by itself, move y over, you get 2x minus 2. And for the second one, you divide everything by 2. So this gets divided by 2, this whole thing gets divided by 2, and you get y is equal to x plus 1. What do you notice? Do you see what I see? Well, folks, what I see is that this first system and the second system are exactly the same. So both systems are equivalent because the equations for both systems are exactly the same. All right, the second one we're looking at is this. So this is their second system here. And we need to be able to prove that they are the same. Well, if you look over here, essentially what this is, is two types of lines. This one will be a vertical line going through negative 1 on the x, and it runs vertically. This one here, y equals 3, means it's 3 on the y all the time, so that will run horizontally. So this is a vertical line, this is a horizontal line that meet at this point. What are we going to do? Is we're going to take this point and check if this point is a solution in this system. So we're going to check. We first check in 1. Okay, equation number one in the first system. And then once we're done that, if left side equals right side in equation number one, we can then do equation number two. Hint, if you actually look at equation number two, it's negative one plus three, and negative one plus three is gonna equal two. So if we check in two, we will be forced to check in one. So the idea is that you look for the one that doesn't work to prove it doesn't work. If it did work for both, you would have to show me a check for both. So check negative 1, 3 in equation number 1. Left side, right side. Left side is x minus y. Right side is 4. Plug in negative 1 for the x. 3 for the y. Lo and behold, you get negative 4, folks. What is, does negative 4 equal 4? Hopefully you're thinking, nope. And you're right, it doesn't. Left side does not equal right side. So basically, looking at this symbol, this means does not equal. You have an equal sign with a slash through it, means does not equal. And therefore, the systems are not equivalent. And that's the end of that one. All right, folks, that's the end of the lesson for 1.3. Have a numerical day. Take care.